this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Sun moon and rising um, Gemini's it is the second quarter of the year 2018 and the um, quarter is from April May until June I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this quarter is the quarter of movement is a quarter of victory and success but yet still movement if you're looking um, to make any movement in this year it's going to be a positive time so between the uh, month of April and May it's going to be one of the best time to make um, movement if you're looking to buy a car it's going to be good in um, in May uh, and in May it's your birthday so it's going to be wonderful it's going to be a very victorious time for you Gemini's it's going to be positive um, uh, what you need to know that this um, quarter is a quarter of fire it's fire energy or energies earth and fire in this quarter it's the energy vibration of earth and fire okay so you need to be aware of this um, you have the energy of the Empress and this is a wonderful energy to have and why is this a wonderful energy to have it's because for you guys is is a period of nurturing and your materialistic needs are coming so whatever you need your material materialistic needs will be coming because you're going to make sure that you're making provision for all these materialistic needs to come in okay so this is going to be wonderful it's going to be positive it's going to be in a good light think things are going to be coming in your life it's a lucky period for you Gemini's because it is the, um, the month of um, ending of uh, April. Uh, no, um, it's the the Taurus. Um, you guys are at the end of May. Okay, so you guys are at the end of May, beginning June. So um, it's wonderful because May is going to be the energy of the victory, the chariot. So it's going to be a very, very new beginning for 2018 for you guys because it's going to be positive because your materialistic needs in the in the, um, the month of May is going to be good because you're going to see a victory and a success and the movement of the energies of this earth energy. So it's going to be extremely good. So. Um, whatever it is transpiring you guys like for this um, quarter and this quarter begins from April until June um, where your birthday ends the energy of the Empress this is good this is positive because this is nurturing um, it is also um, new um, the transition and positive things are coming in your life so it's it's going to be um, a wonderful energy so as we look at um, the first month of April the first month of April is going to be a month where you need to uh, look for in uh, you need to look within you need to look within the energy of the hermit um, hermit is here um, the number nine energies and it's a saying look within okay you're going to be looking for in a little guidance you're going to be looking in for in a little guidance to see how you're going to be making this transition forward in your life because you're going to be looking for inner guidance it is it is a month where um, it, it's all about you finding yourself you find in your true light you're trying to find inner knowledge you're trying to understand because a lot of I'm seeing a lot of people who are deciding to either get married or get divorced or and people who are trying to figure out what is best for me what is the best um, decision to make uh, as to move forward so it is a time when you're going to need inner strength to find out what is it what is the right movement that I should um, make in my life month of May it's going to be good um, and why it's going to be good is because you have um, the energies I want to show this because I'm going to put the cards at the other side um, the energies of the chariot the energy of the chariot is you moving on you're going on a new part you're need, you're looking for changes you know after the inner wisdom and guidance that you have been looking for inwards you're looking for changes in your life you want to make a change you want to make changes some of you are going to decide and make the decision 
um, to move forward or, and this can be um, looking for a new relationship looking for a new place to live uh, you know trying to want to try out something new in your life and trying to find out what is best for you at this time so this is going to be um, really a positive month because I always think the month of Gemini is the month of May is for the Gemini's and the Tauruses and I both love Gemini's and Taurus people and you're going to see what is going to transpire so we're going to look at what is going to come in for your birthday the last energy we have is an earth energy and this is wonderful um, this energy is the energy of temperance so um, some of you are going to be dealing with the um, Virgo the Virgo people so a lot of situations it's gonna come up that you have to deal with the Virgo people so whatever the situation is and whatever the transition is whatever that is transpiring you have to be dealing with the Virgo people okay so whoever and whatever is transpiring and happening you have to deal with the Virgo people it's a balance month because um, it's um, your birthday at the beginning of June and it's going to be a balanced month but um, a lot of Virgo people you're going to be connecting most of you with um, the energies of a Virgo people the intuition energies is as if they're going to teach you so let's see what is going to happen and what is going to transpire um, between the last two weeks and the two first weeks or uh, last two weeks of April and the two first weeks of April debt and transformation okay so there you were looking inwards thinking about what is it what is happening what is it and I need to do this debt and transformation what is going to happen so we're going to look and see what is going to transpire with this debt and transformation because obviously there is a situation that is happening and there is a change that is coming in okay then we're looking at the two last week of uh, um, the two last week of May and the two first week of June and we have the energy of the six of sword and the six of sword you are finally at the end of a journey because you guys have been thinking about making a change because of certain situation and you're finally at the end of this journey so whatever that has transpired whatever the change that you were thinking about making in April you are going to finally decide because you're the Gemini's and your birthday um, begins at the end of May the two last week in May and the two first week in um, in, in, in June so whatever that you were thinking about in April you're going to decide to do it um, whatever you were thinking about in April you're going to decide to do it there's a there's a debt and transformation and with the six of sword you come to the end of the journey and 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 here you're going to decide to um, accept what is happening and then you're going to walk away let's look at your outcomes so your outcomes for the squatel is going to be the five of swords I'm actually happy that the swords energy and these transformation comes in because um, this is one of the quarters that you people do not have these energies whatever is happening whatever is um, transpiring you people really do not have these energies okay so what is what is happening and what is transpiring is that you're seeing this five of swords um, you know the ending that is coming out for you guys is uh, this energy of the five of swords and this energy of the five of swords as your outcome it is a lot of conflicts because you have decided to end the situation you have seen you thought about it in April and you have decided to end this situation and then um, in the end of June there is the temperance okay so your outcomes for this quarter is going to be the five of swords the five of swords can be and and, and, and for you Gemini's um, um, for you Gemini's the five of sword is going to be the energy of you know you decided um, you know I'm ending whatever has been going on you're you're taking this down you're deciding to move this out of your life whatever has been going on and 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 there you sat 
in um, April to think so let's look at what you came out with in April um, April to me um, you felt hardship you felt hardship and this is why you decided to uh, you know bring a hand to a situation you, you you felt hardship you felt as if you were in the cold and you were thinking how can I you know remove myself for, uh, or make something better and then um, the ending of um, May going on to June um, is you know it was cruelty whatever happened it was cruelty I've been having these cards the last time coming because it's the nine of swords but you use this nine of swords in communication in a good way because it's it's going to help you in the long run this is what we're seeing that it's going to help you in the long run so whatever that has um, happened that uh, in the past um, it was cruelty but you have uh, you know the, the, you have come in the the five the five of Pentacles the, the energy of hardship it doesn't have to be with your financial situation because um, whatever it is that the energy of for you guys is the energy of the Empress so that is going to be coming good but it's as if a situation that has happened to bring you in the hardship and it didn't have to go that way there was a, you know cruelty there is something that happened that was they and cruelty people have done you injustice and bring you uh, and this was cruelty it was evil it was whatever they did was dishonest so they brought you they wanted to break you down and brought you down to this stage then as we look at the debt and transformation and the six of sword um, it is a sense of opposition the seven of swords opposition so there's a lot of stuff that is coming at you Gemini's there's a lot of stuff but you have the backative of the energy of the sword that is coming in to help so whatever this ending is and the six of swords there's an ending and the six of four and whatever the ending is and the six of sword whatever that is coming out of this we're going to look and we're going to ask a question because um it looks as if whatever that has transpired you you, you took time in april to think about it because it's as if they are uh, whatever the situation is is that people wanted to bring you in hardship and there you know there was a cruel situation that has happened to you and, um, and and there was a lot of people lies and a lot of opposition and people who weren't speaking the truth and that sort of a thing and it's as if because it's going to end up the outcomes of this month is going to be the five of swords but it's good because what it's going to do is that you are going to take um, stand up for whatever that has happened okay because um, I'm seeing here the energy of the ace of cups okay so a, a lot of you need not to worry because um, things are going to be transparent let's see um, what other messages um, that is here I don't know I keep on having this energy is for you um, for you people the energy of the hangman I, I keep and, and the energy of the tower um, how much did I have so I'm doing three so what is happening is that discipline discipline um, there is an energy of discipline the six whatever is happening with the six of swords a lot of people are going to just decide to leave a situation behind and move forward a lot of people are going to just decide to leave a situation and move forward because um, you have you have to have discipline in your life and this is what you were trying to do in a month of May to bring forward discipline in your life and now you're trying to find your inner light and by doing that the energy um, of cleansing is going to come in your life whatever the situation that has been happening is it's as if you um, a Gemini's are using this um, uh, second second quarter of the hair to cleanse whatever because they're you know you have gone through hardship and you have gone through you felt the ends of cruel people and you felt the hands of people that has been working against you you feel the ends of opposition but now it's coming to an end whatever the ends of these opposition and these people that was working against you it is now coming to an end is as if you said to till until here and no further because you saw what was happening 
you saw that people weren't speaking the truth you see in different different organizations and that sort of a thing that people weren't um, speaking the truth about certain situation and now you have decided that you're ending this you're ending this and for you it is a good ending because you're deciding to walk away from situations that people have been lying because it has to do with situation with people in groups of people that um, have brought um, a situation in your life um, and, and, and situation that was just unfair they they lied and um, with they lied and they were very dishonest and you have seen what has transpired and you see the lies and injustice that has happened and you decided you know no more no longer this um, I'm, I'm going to leave this behind because there's a lot of debt and transformation and the six of swords is that you have brought this thing to an end um, it's as if it's a situation that has been going on in your life with groups of people that they weren't speaking the truth and you decide to bring whatever this situation because a lot of lies were told because there you are standing up thinking and you know I'm, I'm, I'm like this person who um, I'm always trying to figure out um, what's really happening because I, I, I have this energy of just feeling when someone is lying to me and I'm someone who's very logic and this is what you're doing also because normally you guys are always in your head but you are very logic this month and you're thinking hey something isn't right you know something isn't right because you have become in hardship there was a situation that you have become in hardship and whatever that that's not going to happen you know that's not going to happen this hardship is going to be over it's not going to happen no one is going to try to change anything whatever they are decide they're trying to come up or whatever they were trying it's not happening it's not happening because it's just going to fall through whatever um anyone uh, people are going to try to do to you in the squatter it's just gonna fall through because you are taking the month of April to really think about things so how comes you have come in this position and you're gonna end this and you're gonna end it but a lot of conflicts is is going to come out because you have seen because you're one of the most intelligent person on this planet and you have seen that there has been lies has been um, a lot of people have been lying a lot of conflicts is going to happen because you have the outcomes of the month it's gonna end this quarter in June with conflicts the five of swords but you are going to use the energy because you have the five of swords the six of swords and then you have temperance so the five of swords a lot of conflicts a lot of situation but you're deciding I'm ending this because this is not um, this is not my sort of an energy vibration or this is not where I want to go because this is cruelty whatever these people have done or whoever these groups of people are it's just plain cruelty it's just being vindicted lying hate and jealousy and and this is what has happened and what has transpired at the end the energy of the tower comes down because um, <coughs> with discipline um, you find the truth of a situation and the lies whatever that they were trying to do or conjure up is now has now come to an end okay so we're gonna leave this reading and um, well not yet <laughs> not yeah we can't leave yet because we have to do your activation so what is going to be your Gemini activation it's going to be um, emergency so you have the number seven energy um, this energy is going to activate you okay this is an activation so if you look closely to it I'm trying to find where the light is and it's going to activate you because this is what it does this is just what it does it tries to activate you okay so if you just focus focus on this you're going to um, find an activation sense that is coming up for you you're going to feel good so um, your color is going to be orange and purple um, in this month it's going to be very positive you have the energy of orange and purple 
then we have the situation of the intergalactic council and they are asking you to connect with them so uh, this is a message from the intergalactic council to connect with them so you know you can say I connect to the intergalactic council as I go to bed in my sleeping time or my waking time you are going to be connecting with the intergalactic council okay and this is um, very very positive now we're going to go ahead because the intergalactic councils because this is the energy of uh, um, the intergalactic councils and what is happening and what is transpiring sorry is that um, there are um, new energies uh, new um, um, dimension portals that are opening up and new energies that are coming in and new beams that wants to connect with us in different ways to help us to align ourselves with positive energies okay now we're moving forward to the love readings because I've changed up everything so we're moving forward to the love readings and uh, first we're going to look at the ladies over 40 to see what is going to happen to the ladies over 40 in love then we are going to look at the men over 40 um, men over 40 and then we are going to look at the young people over the age of 18 to 10 okay so let's look at the ladies over 40 what is going to transpire in your love relationship I am having the sense conflicts and a lot of you um, um, hair sign people are, um, are having a lot of conflicts in your relationship in um, this third period and I can see why because there's a lot of changes a lot of situations some of you are feeling cruelty and feeling um, a sense of cruelty and a sense of hardship that is happening and a lot of you are going to be um, having conflicts with other people because um, and because you've seen a situation a lot of you are going to realize that your partner um, your husband or um, your partner or your boyfriend or that sort of a thing but I always think that people over the age of uh, um, 40 do not have boyfriends okay I just can't I don't like the word boyfriends and baby father I just it's just so negative so people over 40 you women over 40 there's going to be a lot of conflict in things because you're going to realize and, and going to see a situation for what it is okay um, you're now seeing a situation for what has transpired and what has taken place and you're going to see the situation and you're going to um, you know feel as if oh my gosh um, what do I do um, some of you are going to have this feeling that your partner was seeing someone or has been seeing someone or that sort of a thing it's gonna come out because um, your intuition is going to guide you and show you that yes you were right and what you were thinking okay and um, so um, and it's not for everyone it's, it's it's like what is going to happen to most of you for the rest of you um, you're gonna um, you know see um, um, that you know you're seeing that maybe this is a relationship that I should really work harder on because uh, you know this person has been in my life and I should be just um, um, honest enough with myself and then honest enough with that person that sort of a thing that is gonna come in okay we're looking at the energies for the men over 40 the men over 40 are going to come in um, contact with the you know some of you are going to um, um, uh, realize that your partner is in a relationship with um, an Aries and Leo or a Sagittarius it doesn't have to affect all of you um, for the gay people this is going to be a wonderful relationship um, you're going to meet someone um, who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay and this is going to be good so if you are gay and if you have a relationship with same partner relationship you men you're going to meet someone and this person is like sent from the universe it's going to be 
um, a wonderful relationship actually it's not a soulmate relationship and it's not but it is a, it's a cosmic um, relationship is a relationship that you need to couple up with this person to learn a lesson okay this is for the men who are same sex for the men who are not same sex via your intuition you're going to receive a message that um, via your intuition you're going to receive a message that um, your partner has been seeing someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius okay via, via. and um, you're going to try to balance out your relationship you know not getting upset but you know knowing the information and trying to deal with it that is what is going to come up so we're looking at the young people between the ages of um, 18 <laughs> and um, 18 to 40 a lot of lies a lot of lies a lot of confusion a lot of lies and confusions a lot of people are not speaking the truth a lot of people are not speaking the truth and this is what you're seeing a lot of people are not speaking the truth and they're working together to keep and there's conflicts there's huge conflicts because um, some of you are not speaking the truth um, in your relationship or to your partner and um, you know it, it is a situation that you need to work together on this situation because there's a huge conflict that is going to be happening there's a lot of backstabbing also that is going on with in relationship it's as if you're saying that yeah and and and, and that sort of a back and forth and a lot of people are getting involved in some of your relationship and you need to take a stand okay you need to take a stand and 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 say you know to here and not further because there's a lot of lies and a lot of people because whenever the ten the ten of swords comes up or the nine the eight of swords um, this is the eight of swords that is here this eight of swords is saying that there is not clarity there's people who are speaking who are saying things that is not true and that sort of a thing there is no clarity here and um, whatever is happening is that there's a huge conflict because a lot of people and a lot of conflicts and a lot of situation that is happening and people are not working together to resolve this there is more than you um, trying to connect together to deal with the situation but a lot of a lot of you are not seeing um, you know eye to eye with each other and it's causing a lot of conflicts because um you're creating something that is not um it's not no um you're not seeing high to high it's not clear what is going on you need to see clarity about exactly what is going on okay and um you need to work together with your partner to you know release that the conflict and the misunderstandings don't come in okay so this is what is happening for you people between the ages I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. I'm wishing you guys a wonderful um, quarter. Namaste.